everybody, Star here, and I am back on the Load Star server, and I have literally, well not literally, but, um, today is August the 15th, and for those of you who are A-level taking students in England, or for those of you who look on my Twitter, it is the day that I found out about my A-level results, and I am... Um, Oh god, I'm so happy it's all done and over. I uh, I needed some chill out time, so I thought it's time to record some more load stars. So I'm on the server right now. Um, yeah, I got my uh, oh tree farm. I got my results back, and I got uh, two A's and a B. Um, which uh, two A's and a B? Two A's and a C. Two A's and a B is what I needed. Um, god, I don't even know where to begin. My mind's all over the place. Um, I applied for Manchester University, and they wanted two A's and a B to get in, and I did not get those grades, but they still accepted me, so I guess that means they like me? <laughs> I hope it means they like me? I don't know. That was annoying me. That was not even... Um, the C was in drama, which I know didn't go that well anyway, so I'm not too down about it. I'm just really happy that I got in. Um, wow, I... yeah, I just crazy time there's sheep everywhere over the moon um so i haven't been on the server in a little while actually i've been this, this week has been very very hectic for me and i i guess i'm just gonna go into detail and explain a bit about that it's a little ground there's a nice little castle going on around here oh it's empty hmm. soon to be filled with stuff no doubt um this week has been insane. This week I've had a bunch of IRL stuff. I have been uh, live streaming or helping out on live streams. I've had to spend time with real people. Spend time with real people. Um, and I have had results day to worry about. And also there's been the whole uh, hashtag. Oh god. Oh there's bricks in there. I forgot about that. Huh. There's been the whole hashtag free Milby palaver going on. Which has just been bloody insane. This chest really needs organising. Um, which obviously being a moderator on his live streams, um, I have been, um, pretty much busy with that the whole time. Even when he hasn't been streaming, the live stream chat has just been completely busy and insane. If you're wondering why I'm using cobblestone picks and not like iron or anything, it's just, I don't know, it's, they break it at almost the same rate and it's a lot cheaper to make, especially with all the cobblestone I am getting from this. It's been really insane. Moderating his live streams, usually moderating Milby's live streams are quite, they're quite chill considering the amount of viewers he gets, maybe between 500 and 1000 per stream, depending on what he's streaming. Um, his chat is normally pretty tame. You get, you know, the trolls and the annoying people, and there's always a few bands per stream at least, but they're usually very, very tame. But obviously with the whole malarkey that's been going on, it's been absolutely insane to moderate. And yeah, it's been it's been crazy. I must have banned a good 800 people in the course of these past couple of days, if not more, probably more. Well, I say banned, banned or timed out, not just banned. <laughs> that would be a bit harsh. I normally just time people out. Um, only ban in extreme circumstances. I use my, my ban hammer wisely sometimes. <laughs> um, and basically it's just been feeding information to people. I had like a big notepad, like copy and pasted all the um, answers to every possible leading question anybody could ask about, um, oh god, I didn't want to do that, um, about everything that's been going on, um, uh, so like, if someone would ask, hey, is his channel back up yet, or hey, what was it that took down his channel, or, you know, hey, what's the newest news, I just have everything on a copy and paste sheet, and I was pretty much just copy and pasting that most of the day, I'm working on a montage now, just a little short hashtag we freed milby montage um that should be up within the next couple of days um it might even be up by the time this episode goes up who knows maybe not maybe it'll be up on the same day i don't know um but i have been up till the late hours trying to sort that out and that has been exhausting um i've had work the past week as well and that's been really tiring my sleep schedule is way out of whack but um ed case and i are working on that we've got a pack going to work on our sleep schedule and make sure that we don't stay up too late so i've been trying to work on that but it's been very hard to keep to that this week because of the whole milby thing and moderating and uh i felt so much pressure to moderate and i know he has other mods and people keep telling me oh lag spike there uh people keep telling me oh man why is there so much lag why? It's weird. Um, people keep telling me, hey, you're not the only moderator on his stream, you know? You can let other moderators do stuff, but I don't know. I'm I'm probably one of the most frequent moderators on his stream. I, I don't know if I'm the most or not. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, 
because he has a lot of frequent moderators. Um, but I'm definitely one of the most frequent ones. Like, uh, I don't miss many of his streams. I missed one last night, actually, because I streamed. Oh, yeah, I hit 300 followers on Twitch, which I'm really, really, really happy about. So thank you to everyone. Um, it's been crazy. It's been a lot of fun streaming, and I know I haven't streamed that much. Um, uh, I stream maybe once a week, uh, depending on what's going on. I'm going to try and... I, I would say I'm going to try and make that a more regular occurring thing but honestly i've been so busy lately i don't even know if i'll have the time i'm gonna try to but i think once a week's quite a nice thing not too not too much not too little um but yeah thank you for that and i hit 500 followers on twitter as well which i know isn't that's quite crazy and i hit 1600 subscribers on youtube which is also completely insane so thank you everyone for that i think the 50 shades of a 50 chads of a helps out with that quite a lot so thank you everyone who shared that and likes that and commented and all that jazz uh, but yeah, back to the uh, the Milby thing. I have felt very obliged to um, moderate on his streams, particularly because I'm one of the most frequent moderators and people kind of... I don't know. I was at work uh, where, the day after his channel went down and I got about five or six messages from people just saying, hey, Starlet, come, <laughs> come save us, Starlet. Come into the chat and calm people down. We need you. So it's not even just a case of me, you know, being one of the most frequent moderators. Like... It's kind of, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not trying to sound up myself, but people kind of, I guess, look up to me or look to me. I don't know. I think it's probably to do with the fact that I'm kind of labeled as the Milby fangirl, um, that people sort of, I guess, recognize me when they think of Milby. Maybe they think of um, me sometimes in his live streams and people are kind of asking like, hey, can you help moderate and stuff? And I've been popping in out of his chat for the past few days. Like if people are like, hey, there's someone causing trouble, then I've had to pop in and um, uh, time them out, which is, you know, ridiculous. I mean, I, I, the moderator, I'm so, oh God, moderating has just been, it's been crazy and it's been kind of fun, but it's also been a nightmare. And, you know, thank you to everyone who thanked the moderators <laughs> because we've done like, Oh, to, at the risk of sounding pompous and everything we've done so much fucking work like seriously like although i would name all the moderators that have come to help out but he is a big moderating team so honestly it would take a while um luckily he moderated a couple other people to help us out which is i'm so thankful for because it's just been absolutely crazy moderating but all the moderators in Milby's streams like oh my god we 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 pulled it together and we managed to keep everything together and I'm so happy. Um, I'm really glad to be a part of. Ooh, pick gone. I'm really glad to be a part of the moderating team over there. Um, I really enjoy moderating the chats because normally, with the with the exception of uh, the past couple of days, they've been pretty calm and they are a lot of fun to moderate. In fact, when I first started watching Milby streaming, it was probably the moderators that made it kind of enjoyable in the first place, I guess. Um, I don't know why I just took a horse around of that because I got tons of my inventory. Um, I remember when I first kind of went to one of his streams and the moderators were all really nice and interacting with chat and I just thought, you know, that's what I, that's what I want to do. I want to be a moderator and I want to have fun with chat and I want to make people enjoy this help it. I want to help people enjoy the streams. And I hope I'm doing that to the best of my ability. It's a lot of fun being a mod on his streams. A lot of people say, oh my god, mod modding is so overrated. People think it's really, really fun and awesome to have power when it's not. But honestly, I really enjoy it. There are some series I don't enjoy moderating because they're just a little bit too insane. But Milby's, I love moderating. Um, but it ha that being said, this week has been really insane. And uh, I want to say thank you to all the other mods. <laughs> Even though I am one of them, I want to say thank you to the mods. Um for keeping for keeping me sane because we've all worked together really well as a team i think uh in regards to the whole milby situation and how it was handled and what i think of the whole thing i'm not going to go into detail on that there's been a lot of drama i know and stuff concerning that uh, i'm not going to go into detail all i think of is that youtube overreacted with the ban uh dealing with the ban could have been handled professionally but uh, more professionally but equally youtube could have also handled the actual dealing of the accidental nip slip on his videos more professionally so i think there's every i think everyone's in the wrong here a little bit i'm just glad to see his channel back to be honest um and i'm glad this is all resolved within a couple of days and it didn't last a couple of weeks because youtube is renowned for being quite slow with dealing with these kind of things 
so I'm glad it was sorted in a couple of days. It's a shame he lost a lot of revenue probably in those couple of days, but he also gained a lot of notice. So I think it's more than counterbalance that, to be honest. So I'm gonna take a drink of cappuccino. <laughs> I was up early this morning because of results. Got up at like seven and had to be in school for eight-ish to collect the results. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I I'm just happy to see his channel back. It's been insane and I hope things return return to some sort of normality return to a normal state within the next few days or at least semi-normal the fate of Katawa shoujo who knows i think we'll be covering that today probably so you guys will probably already know that by the time this video comes out um but yeah either way glad it's sorted glad it's done glad it's out of the way uh what else has been going on with me this week not that much to be honest um i've been having a pretty chill summer uh working on my channel working on series um oh yeah new oh well i say new series um it's a new series on my channel it's had a few episodes out me as marta i'm really happy with the feedback for me as marta i was very worried about the frame rate because um the game is very uh resource consuming on my computer on any computer i guess the graphics if turned up high would be like insane i'm on the lowest for everything right now um i believe I'm gonna have to play around with recording it with face cam and stuff to see if it's more laggy with or without face cam and if so by how much. Uh, if it's a lot better without face cam I may not record it with face cam but I suppose face cam is also part of the appeal. I don't know I might keep it for now and I'm also gonna reformat the, uh, the recording slightly so it's not just a load of exploring and being boring and stuff. <laughs> uh, Runes of the Minecrackers is drawing to a close. I am on the last intersection finally um, that, uh, so that's gonna be ending soon, but to replace that, or I don't know if they'll be, uh, played at the same time at some point, but to at least sort of replace that, or to be alongside that, will be Ruins of the Minecrackers 2 with Odd Mask, that should be coming out soon. I need to get those bloody thumbnails done for it, and then that's all sorted. Lodestar, obviously, episodes just keep coming up, blah blah blah. Inferno Minds, um, due to a lot of scheduling and time issues, and the fact that we're both quite busy at different times, uh, we have quite a lot, uh, Chris and I have a large time difference. We will not be continuing Inferno Mines. So I'm sorry to those people who did watch that. Um, it was a lot of fun, but unfortunately, uh, due to time constraints, we just can't keep up with the schedule. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, but I did enjoy it while it lasted, and I'm really thankful for you guys who watched it. And I'm sorry that I could not continue with that. I really hate leaving a series unfinished. Um, but that's just the way it is, I guess. Um, in addition, because I'm going to be studying, in addition to, uh, in addition, in addition, <laughs> to drama and English at Manchester University, I will also be studying film alongside that. So I'm kind of experimenting with a couple of film projects at the moment, just kind of a bit of footage and music being put together. Just kind of things for me to play around with, which you will see on my channel. They're not going to be gaming related, for the most part. Um, it's just me playing around, but if you guys could give some feedback on that, that'd be quite... Ooh, hello. Hmm. If you guys could give some feedback on that, that would be quite nice, because, um... Obviously, I do want to go into film as a career. Hmm. Hey, Ors. No, seems pretty boring. Boring cave is boring. I'll leave it lit up for now. Uh, no doubt I will probably expand the sheep farm into it. So, <laughs> this is going to be a big sheep farm. Big air sheep farm. I hope no one minds that I'm kind of burying out the underneath here. I'll probably put most of the ores in the um, town, the community, in a community chesticle of some some description. Um, uh, so there'll be a few couple editing projects and stuff, maybe some animation I can try to have a go at. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, at the end of at least Lodestar and Me as Marta, I've started putting kind of, I guess, little sort of, hey, remember to check out Twitter and check out my live streams and things like that at the end of the videos. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Um, if you like it, I'll keep them. I just thought it'd be kind of a bit more of a professional kind of thing. I'm not very good at remembering to promote my um, various bits and pops on the internet. I have links to them in the description, but um, I never really make a point, especially at the end of live streams as well. I'm really bad at being like, hey, if you want to follow me on Twitter, then go here. Hey, if you want to watch my live streams, go here. Hey, if you want to donate, go here. Um, I need to be better at that, but for now, I'm just kind of dealing with... Um, uh, that's one way that I sort of am trying to be better at promoting my bits and bobs on the internet. Uh, but you can find links to most of my stuff underneath my in my video description anyway, so that shouldn't be too worrisome. 
It's just a little extra thing I thought I'd add. If I like it, I might try and do it on other series as well. Uh, there's no point in putting it at the ends of Runes of the Minecrackers because that's almost done. Might try at the ends of Runes of the Minecrackers too if you guys think that is a good idea. Um, what else? I don't know. There's not, there's not been a lot happening in my life. It's been a bit of a, it's been a bit boring. Um, ooh, actually, no. This is gonna be, this is gonna be um interesting thing. Uh, my parents, my family rather, my parents and my brother, they are going to Wales um, at the end of the summer. Now I normally go to Wales with them, but I, um, I don't know, I wanted a little bit of time to just, just a little bit of time to myself. Um, I've been to Wales so much and we've already been this year and I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, We've been to like all the castles and everything that there is to see in there and I'm just getting a bit bored of it. So this year I am not actually going to Wales, but that does mean that I will probably have a few days in the house to myself, which should hopefully mean that I can do live streaming, long live streams, get lots of recording done, um, things like that, which, yeah, means more, more star for you guys. Uh, I think that's going to be maybe one or two weeks from now. Ish. I think. Yeah. So that should be exciting. Um, I might try and do, I don't know if I'm going to do like an extra long live stream or if I'm just going to do a bunch of live streaming throughout the day or a marathon or I don't know. I probably can't face a marathon. <laughs> I can't last more than a few hours live streaming at the moment. I need to tra 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 train myself. But that should be exciting and fun and you guys will hopefully like that. Um, ooh, actually, yes. Uh, Insomnia is what I want to talk about. Insomnia in Telford. A big gaming festival which Milby, Bash and Pyro are attending along with a lot of other lovely people. I'm very excited for um, that. That is going to be it's about a week from today actually. Oh we know today's Thursday. A week from tomorrow. A week from tomorrow that's happening. I'm going with Fran. For those of you who don't know Fran, she has appeared in quite a few of my live streams. She's um she's not quite a gamer. It's kind of <laughs> basically she's a gamer only because of me introducing her to the community. So she doesn't really watch much Minecraft, but she watches episodes I sort of show her to. And she's interested in games and she's enjoyed live streaming and she's going to be coming to Telford with me to meet all these lovely people and I'm very excited to be seeing Badge again and to be meeting Milby and Pyro for the first time in person uh, along with a bunch of other people who I'll be seeing from when I went to uh, Res which was a convention in Birmingham uh, a couple of months ago and meeting people who I talked to online for the first time as well uh, so if you guys are going to Insomnia then let me know and I will uh, we should, we should, we should meet up. We should meet up, man. We should hang. Um, most people are like, hey, where's something noticeable? Uh, to, so people will recognize you. I put my face up everywhere, so you guys will probably recognize me anyway. Um, uh, if, oh god, not water there. If not, I'll probably just be wearing something starry, I guess. Uh, I've got a jacket with star written on the back of it. Maybe I'll wear that. Um, maybe I will wear, I don't know, a starry top or necklace or... I don't know. I don't have a shirt. I don't have a starlet shirt. I'm not that, I'm not that popular. I don't have a starlet shirt. <laughs> you guys should be able to recognize me. I'll be the short little five foot one girl. <laughs> um, uh, so I am getting there. I'm not spending the whole weekend in Insomnia. I am... Fran and I are leaving to catch an early train in the morning on Friday and we should arrive there about noon because it's a few hours to get there by train. And we are leaving Saturday evening probably. The reason we're leaving leaving in the evening is because oh that's not a shovel is i need to be back uh by like 7 30 ish 7 ish on saturday because i need to babysit for my little brother because he is too young to look after himself there's a big age gap between my brother and i like seven years um so i do need to be back in time for that so it's a shame i can't sit for the whole weekend but i'm really glad that i can be there i can be there overnight and I'm excited to go regardless. I will be there. I'll be there to see the uh, Mindcrack panel on Saturday. And if there's a meetup going on, I will be there for that as well. So it should be good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm kind of nervous to meet um, people, but I'm also very excited. And there are going to be people I know who are going anyway. So I'm not too nervous. It's not like I'm going to be meeting everyone for the first time. So it should be a good laugh. And I have Fran there for moral support. <laughs> if worst comes to worst and I just make an idiot of myself, we'll just retreat back to the hotel and never see the light of day again. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm going to, I guess, wait for this pick to break. <laughs> wait for this pick to break. Um, I'm probably going to do a lot of this digging out off camera now that I think I probably actually have some decent time to go onto the server now that my work is done. Um... I am looking forward to, I'm going to be hollowing this place out, making it really big, I'm going to start placing dirt, uh, it's going to be good, it's going to be good, it's going to look cool. Um, I've got some co-op planned, possibly on this server, that should be 
fun to watch. I like I like this server. I like recording episodes of this server. It's very chill. I don't feel any pressure. The thing about the fan server when I was on it, oh there it goes, is I always felt a little bit pressured to um record stuff on it because the fan server was kind of you know it wasn't like really highly regarded but it was you know it was the fan server if you got onto it it was like wow <laughs> well done you got onto the fan server <laughs> so um i always felt pressure to record episodes frequently on it even though i know it, you don't need to be i mean i know loads of people on the fan server didn't make any episodes at all let alone make them frequently but i always felt a little bit of pressure too um so i like the server because it's really chill and i don't need to worry about um I don't really, I'm not feeling pressured to make episodes left, right and centre as much as I possibly can. Which is nice, it's nice, I like being chill. It's um, it's good, I'm having a lot of fun on this server. Um, I wish I had more time to spend on it in the last couple weeks, but I am back. Uh, I've had to deal with IRL stuff as well, which I won't go into, but I am back and I am ready to rumble and um, I will probably spend off camera, what I want to do is hollow out more of that. And I want to set up my nether portal to my out of town area because that means that I can then um, actually show it to you guys and start talking about what I want to work on there and I can start designing houses and stuff. So that should be good fun. Um, I think that's pretty much all for me. I just wanted to do a little update video. That's what they all seem to be. Oh god, I just, I don't need to break that. <laughs> my hand, happy, happy trick. Of the, the, the. <laughs> just... Hey, oh shit, pigs, get out of here. Pigs, pigs, please, pig. Pig, get out of here. Hey, no! Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, hold on. Pig, come here. Piggy. 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 Piggy! There's a piggy up there as well! Piggy, please! Okay, piggies, come in here. Piggies, come in here. Come in here right now, piggies. Piggy! Piggy! Get into the pen! Get into the pen. Get piggy. She. Oh my god! Fuck's sake! Okay, come on, in the pen with you. Come on. Come on. Piggy. Please. Okay, you know what? I'll deal with these. Off I'll deal with these guys off camera. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end the episode here before more pigs escape. Um, you guys can just stay in here. You can be house pigs. You're house trained. It's cool. My house is just full of fucking animals now. <laughs> and someone's dyed the collars of my dogs, which is quite cute. These Most of them are red still, but like, there's the yellow one and orange one, so it's quite cute. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully the episodes will be out a little bit more frequently and there'll be less sort of, let me update what's happened in the past year or so of my life and more kind of, hey, on this episode, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's been a kind of, I'm in a funny mood because of <laughs> results. I'm kind of in a sort of, ooh, I feel lighter there mood, so yes. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode where hopefully I have more interesting stuff to show. So, uh, goodbye, and I will see you. Ciao.